entertainment luxury. Diana Ross born March 26, 1944, was an American singer, songwriter and actress from Detroit, Michigan. A founding member of The Supremes, she joined the group in 1959 as a quartet known as The Primettes and remained with the trio until January 14, 1970, when she quit to pursue a solo career. Her career featured successful endeavors on Broadway and in film. In 1972, she received a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination for her depiction of Billie Holiday in the award-winning semi-biopic Lady Sings the Blues. She won several American Music Awards, 13 Grammy Award nominations, and a Tony Award for her one, Woman Show, An Evening with Diana Ross, which ran from 1976 to 1977. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Diana Ross. Before we start don't forget to poke that like button, and subscribe. Number 1 Jaguar E-Type Diana Ross purchased her own Jaguar E-Type in 1967, a stunning roadster in the eye-catching luxurious golden sand color. The Jaguar E-Type's spectacular debut at the 1961 Geneva Salon delighted the audience, who appreciated its graceful curves and breathtaking design. This was one of Diana's first significant splurge, after she rose to prominence, and she also purchased a home for her mother. The car was particularly ordered to Diana's specifications, with a mystery price tag that matched its unusual features. The distinctive dazzling paintwork was combined with a black cabin and canvas top, a color-coordinated hardtop, tinted windows, and white wall tires. I'm coming out. Number 2 Waterfront Property Diana Ross paid a significant amount for property ownership in Miami. The $15.5 million waterfront property is located on San Marco Island, one of the man-made islands in Biscayne Bay that connects Miami Beach with the city. The five-bedroom, five-bathroom estate was built in 2017 in a contemporary design and lies on a tight 10,500-square-foot site overlooking Biscayne Bay. Upon entering, one is met by an open-concept floor design flooded with natural light, featuring white walls, white terrazzo flooring, and views of the lake directly ahead. The living room features soaring double-height ceilings and clear-story windows. The kitchen features double ovens and a paneled refrigerator constructed of the same white laminate-style material as the kitchen cabinets. Each bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. The main bedroom has a terrace that overlooks the infinity pool and pier below. A finished rooftop that spans nearly half of the house and provides panoramic views of the bay and downtown Miami is spacious enough to accommodate multiple visitors at once. Other notable features include two office spaces and a gym. Number 3 Fashion In what some have termed as an unexpected move, Eve St. Laurent has picked renowned singer Diana Ross as the new face of St. Laurent by Anthony Vaccarello's new Spring 2024 campaign. If you know Diana Ross, seeing her as the face of a renowned fashion business is unsurprising, given how her outfits as the lead singer of the Supremes always took center stage. At her 75th birthday party, the icon looked stunning in a colorful fluffy outline of a ruffled gown as she stepped into a waiting classic Rolls Royce to drive her home. She smiled cheekily at admirers as she flashed off a pair of orange earrings that matched her stunning birthday dress. I don't want to kill for this. Number 4 Island In 2000, Ross had enough money to buy several new islands. Diana Ross and former husband, Arne Ness Jr., celebrated their wedding anniversary on the lovely island of Tahiti. They loved the area so much that they decided to purchase it. Well, not all of it but they did purchase their own little slice of heaven in the form of a little island near the coast. Obviously persuaded by the vivid blue water and beautiful white sand, it's easy to see why Diana would want to own property there. Everyone with enough money to acquire an island would undoubtedly think about it. Number 5 Beauty Company Diana Ross can be regarded as an icon, fashion muse, and entrepreneur. In 2017, she launched her beauty brand after deciding to enter the beauty industry. She has created Diamond Diana, a perfume, and HSN, Diamond Diana's exclusive store, has revealed the upcoming scent. Ross is joining a few other celebs who have lately entered the beauty industry. 
Smokey Robinson debuted a skincare line, and Madonna launched MDNA, her luxury skincare brand, in September 2017. Upside Down, and Inside Out I'll Turn You. Number 6 Turkey, Tracy Ellis Ross, Diana Ross's daughter, had some, ahem, outstanding. Christmas Recollections as a Child. In a recent interview with today's Al Roker, Ross, who starred in last year's holiday film, Candy Cane Lane, said that her mother, Diana Ross, would periodically have turkeys delivered worldwide for family holiday dinners. Your mom would ship a turkey to Switzerland? Al asks. It has happened, Al. Yes, Ross replies. They don't have turkeys in Switzerland, he follows up. Not the one she wanted, Ross says before bursting into laughter. Eddie Murphy, her co-star in the movie, cracks up alongside her. So you know, you gotta get the one you want. After calming herself down, Ross says, so here's the deal. My mother certainly had a large career, as well as a large life, and she moved frequently. And one of the things my mother did for us was to make us feel at home wherever we went. Number 7 Full Page Ad, Diana Ross understands what it means to be a proud mother. To congratulate daughter Tracy Ellis Ross on her Emmy nomination for her role on Blackish, the music icon went above and beyond in 2016. Instead of giving her daughter a card or a bunch of flowers, which she might have done also, she decided to place a full page advertisement in The Hollywood Reporter. The average estimated beginning fee for adverts in the magazine is $10,450. If we hold on together I know our dreams will never die. Number 8 New Tour, Diana Ross will appear at the Lyric in Baltimore this spring as well as other cities, part of her Beautiful Love Performances, Legacy 2024 Tour. Ross is scheduled to appear at the Midtown venue on Sunday, May 12. Tickets already on sale at Ticketmaster, and the Lyric box office. Tickets start at $59. Ross was the main singer for The Supremes, one of the most successful female vocal groups of all time. She has received scores of awards, mentioned earlier, including her induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Billboard's Female Entertainer of the Century Award, and over 75 hit singles in her career. You are not alone, I am here for you. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury Buys Diana Ross. Make sure to tap the like button, and subscribe, to see our next list. Bye for now.